This is a high-rise building, high fighting protection system presentation based on NBC 2016 Part 4. See the definition of the high-rise building as per the NBC are 15 meter to 100 meter high building or high risk buildings and 100 meters and above buildings are super high rise buildings. There are guidelines for the design high rise and super high rise buildings that is National Building Code 2016 Part 4. It gives certain guidelines. Along the amendment which has been presented, so the firefighting system installations for the high rise buildings and super high rise buildings shall consist of automatic sprinkler, wet riser, dry riser, down plumber, hose reef, drenching system, water curtain yard hydrants, fire extinguisher, fire alarm system, automatic alarm system, water storage tank and its capacity, the terrace tank and its capacity, fire pumps and the terrace check pumps. See the applicable code which shall be followed wherever the information from NBC 2016 are missing. Those are the following code. BSI standard, TSE, National Fire NFPA standards and code, LPCB, International Fire Code, Uniform Fire Code, Factory Mutual Certification, Underwriter Laboratory Certification, Indian Standards 12845 and 15015. See, water curtain systems are also requirement for the high rise buildings for partnership in the area larger than the specified in codes. The whole system consists of reserved water tank, dedicated fire pump, valve assemblies, non lethal valves and all other accessories connected to the header and the piping system, water curtains, nozzles and the fire de detection devices. So the water curtain systems shall be provided to protect the spread of fire within the given zone and its size which are duly explained in the codes. Number of High rise buildings and the 115 to 100 meter high rise building. The number of wet risers as per architectural drawings design as per the recommendation walking distance located near a staircase. What does it mean? It means that there is a given distance which an architect has to consider where the staircases can be provided for the building. Each staircase has to be placed within the 30 meters of the walking distance and those are the areas where the staircases are provided. The internal hydrant pipes are installed and 
also the pipe routing for the sprinkling systems are taken. Unlike the NSPA standards, our NBC code requirement are a separate riser for the hydrant and hose reel and a separate riser for the sprinkler system. There has to be a compartmentation made where the water curtains are to be provided according to the table explained here. This system what we see over here is showing the header pipes and as per the requirement each riser has to be separately connected to the main header. To proceed further the requirement for the super high rise buildings that is the 100 meters and above are as following. A yard head range system shall be provided in the ring mains. Head range shall be placed at 45 meter interval. If the difference between the various towers exceed more than 22.5 meter, a separate head range system shall be provided for each tower in the intra-spaces. The orifice plate has to be provided to control the pressure maximum to the 7 bar at any discharge point of the hydrant and it is calibrated through the provision of the orifice plate. Also, the super hydride buildings are to be installed with the multi-outlet and multi-pressure fire pump within the zone of 60 meters in height. For the upper levels of the buildings, wet riser shall be a mix of 150 to 200 mm dia depending upon hydraulics. Two or more risers shall be interconnected at terrace level with shut-off wall. It means that there are multi-level of hydrants up to the roof has to be connected together with the separate walls so that in case of emergency water can be supplied from one riser to another riser and those will be separated by isolation wall. Maximum pressure not to exceed 7 bar and minimum pressure shall be 3.5 bar which shall supply 500 rpm for the hydrant and topmost hose yield shall be less than 22.5 LPM discharge at 4.5 bar. Where the building heights exceed 100 meters, the multiple wet riser zoning shall be required. Similarly, where the building heights exceed, we have to provide the zoning by establishing the pump set and the water tanks at terraces of 100 meter level at every subsequent 100 meter height. What does it mean? It means if the buildings are more than 100 meters, which is going more than 200, 300, etc., it has to be provided with the separate tanks and the pumps for the next 100 meter height. Every 100 meter height of building to be provided with the following that is, a single pump can be provided with two wet risers directly feeding to and lower level. Pump with multi-stage, multi-outlet and risers tapped from different outlets of the pumps according to pressure required. 
standby pumps of similar type and the capacity driven by diesel engine or electrical motor if emergency power available to be provided standby pumps capacity shall be 4550 liter per minute per minute and the head shall be 15 bar with the minimum water storage of 350 cubic meter water storage of up, up upper zone shall be at least 20 meter 20 minutes run of the installed pipe for the sprinkler system the sprinkler shall be installed in the entire building pressure in the sprinkler installation piping shall not exceed 12 bar pressure at most remote the sprinkler shall be not less than 0.5 bar fire water tanks and upper zone shall be connected to sprinkler installation the lower zone and an alternative supply to the later in case of emergency